It's so close in some of these moments, and right now, Team Liquid are finding their moments a little oh, bit. Cool JJ diving in. Kazi's gonna try and put some damage down. Tackle opens up once again with Spray and Prey. Solar Flare used impact. impact has the flank, and Humano's gonna try and dive forward. He's got the exhaust. Tactical has a stopwatch of his own. There's nothing you can do. Team Liquid ready for every opportunity that Mad Lions try and take. So I'm really curious what happened. It's, of course, the arrow that doesn't connect onto Tactical, and then once again, Mad Lions get so desperate, they try to cut him off in the pass but Impact is teleporting into the back line once more. It's a double knockup CC there from 4JJ, and look at Impact just raining hell on the back lines of Mad. They're just completely scattered. Now, they're thinking about diving there. Oh, the E miss, but it doesn't matter. They can still go for him. Trying to read the Duke. Here's the TP, though. Um, Amut with the taunt, though. He's trying to live. He's in a literal 1v5, and he gets a what? kill. He's going to get another kill. He's an absolute madman with the Titanic Hydra. Well, let's take a look at how this play unfolded once again. So Leona goes in, but look, Renekton's not even here yet, right? Five people That's go five in. champions! Right, what do we do? Do we go in? Do we not? The taunt gets to Leona. He's so tanky there and still has the flash available with the Lulu showing up. Yo. Elder Drake is alive back in the base. What's this? It's Tapoon making sure he's in the split push situation every single time. TP's coming in, flash away coming out from Sheeny. Not Isles walks himself out. Sleepy Trouble Bubble down onto a different target. Bibap not going to be killed by that just yet. INTZ still looking to respond here to the fight. Reyes coming around from the side. Reyes going to be in some trouble. Talon's going oh. to kill onto Macau. Over the wall comes the projectile. Envy gets the kill into Reyes. And now Legacy is once again in a losing fight. INTZ looks for the rest of the damage onto the set, onto the Nidalee, but a nice kill coming out from the two of them together. So much tankiness. The Haymaker blocking the burst. A beautiful outplay from these two players of Legacy Esports. This is the kind of thing that can change a game. So perfectly timed by the set. Very well done by the Nidalee. Redbird is down. The man is cougar food. Um, num, 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 num. Zero, one, and five for Macau. Hasn't got any of the kills for himself yet, but has been instrumental in setting things up. Kaiser walking a little bit close to oh, the rush, no. but look at the amount of time he was able to buy utilizing the defensive power of the Pantheon. Now Humanoid's in a bad spot. Now Humanoid's gonna be taken down, and now Tay is on the hunt. Flipping the Evelyn behind him, looking to walk around, able to find the kill, make it a double, over to Tay, looking to grab even more. It's a triple <laughs> kill for Urgot! It doesn't matter that he was down 50 CS at one point. He's got eight kills. Let's take another look at him. Oh, it's his point of view, too. The moment he sees that Ash ulti hit, gets straight in. And he wants that uh, fear to hit Evelyn as well. And this is the most satisfying moment in League of Legends, my friend. Look at the damage. It's you. shredding people. But this is a full D5. They're going to have to try and fight. Dragon is low as well. Legacy, what's the decision here? Oh, Elite, go back. Oh, reset again, but there's the Poppy ulti going to kick Longxing out of the fight. Into they go, they find the stun. That's GA dead. The shutdown in on Fatali. What? The dragon's going to get stolen though. His peanut is going to go down, but now it's a 5v3 as Longxing going to dive in and race. He needs to leave him, but Camille is going to lock him down for so long as they finally find the shutdown. Fatali's living, Topoon is as well. Mark's going to get stunned. There's the gold card out. They've got it. They've got the stun as well. But Vim's going to get it. That's going to be the ace legacy. They found it as Babim grabs a triple kill. Got gotcha. his way towards the death dance as well. Boss looking for Lang Xing. He's gonna go in with the hook shot. A lot of damage. Now underneath the tower, that's the soul. Unicorns of love have an infernal soul. Lang Xing is the target. Gadget's looking for him. That's gonna be the golden volley bin. Not enough damage yet. Santa's buying a lot of time. Head by boss rise over the wall. That was a multi-man stun coming out of no man's. Mark is gonna take a magical journey right oh into no, Gadget. Here it is. One, two, the spray and pray. Rat attack, tat, LGD, got Flat, the flash away! Go, go, Gadget Twitch Rat! Here's a replay from Gadget's POV. Hopefully it follows all the way through to the end. I mean, Gadget and Boss are carrying this fight. You can see the other three on the OL just trying to play safe, making sure they're there to answer if there's any peel necessary. And that Bardolt from Mark, it basically sealed the deal on Longxing. And then the stun across the wall into another stun from the side of Boss. They, it looks like they kind of got away, but look at Gadget on the pink. He just comes from the side, goes for the 1v3, opens up with the spray and pray. The Sonyas comes out, but he manages to pull off the 1v3. And that's the Twitch scaling we talked about. I love the fact he flashes that Mystic shot. Fight about to break out. Be tricky. Legacy. I think they are going to force them to commit. Tally going forward. This moves. He popped Ghost. 
Double sleep on the horizon there it goes, but Vimp has found the angle. In they go with the glacial fish of the Draven of the Orbis assassinates Kramer, but he's alive for now. Staboon is keeping Shia out of the pit. Mark is low, but the Camille's gonna dive in as Tally trying to peel them off. Oh. There's the kill. Shia finds two the bottom landing one fell. Ripwalker's legacy. Surely not, surely they haven't thrown this game away. But Tapoon now in a 1v3 as Shia's picked up the triple. He's gonna make it the quadra kill. So difficult for LGD, and we see what Legacy was trying to go for. They're trying to combo in, but we're going to look at the POV out of the castle. He just avoids the crowd control, knowing that he's got plenty of mana and sees that when Camille goes in, he's got a really nice flash rift walk, gets a nice double kill, and then against the double APs, it's just so easy to clean them up. Yeah, she played that exceptionally well. PSG may be able to threaten that. I don't know if they've got the quickest Baron in the world, but as it stands, Unicorn's back away. And remember, Cage will sit in the drop. No one to really Oh, there it is. So you just initiate. That's the flash engage from Kaiwing. Finds the dead. kill onto No Man's. A follow up onto Santos as well. Why bother face checking when you can just hard engage? Boss stays alive long enough to scare Kong Yue away. Slices, Ooh. dices, and Unified manages to send him back. Make it end. Are you mad? It's bro? over. You've got the call of the Forge God, you can look for the engage here. Baron down to about half HP. Mark stepping back, Kramer looking for the flank position, but really, do you want to flank on an Ash right now? PSG, once double again, sleep. back, there's the double sleep. That's the enchanted crystal arrow, but immediately D, out with the cleanse. The Cullen coming out as well, Kaiwing steps back, forces Long Jing away, that Baron down to 1,500 HP. The shockwave, the shockwave from you, the boy, is absolutely huge. Mark falls, Kramer's chased out by Hanabi, Peanut's dead, and LGD are having flashbacks to 2015 because they are not showing up today. PSG with an incredible fight at Baron. PSG have come up to play here. They're smashing Longxing, will get the shield, but Uniboy should be able to take him down. It's a little bit too much hype for day one, but this is exciting stuff. Look at this here. The Cleanse gonna remove the sleep there as well. PSG once again absorb the engage and then turn it around. It is a scrap in the pit, but look at the shockwave combo. The coordination, Hanabi and Uniboy did not play together this year, but they're still making it happen inside the pit. Peanut Smite is not coming through well. Unicorns can strike out of nowhere. Now that Camille is here, her flash is up. You saw how quickly she was able to delete Archer. She has to stay next to the set. It's her best chance of survival. Comes Sion, but actually, Santos goes in, and that's going to be a kill in on Tabugi. Already going to take down the Karthus. Here's the ultimate out of him. Galio with a very nice Ooh. thought. Going to shut down Boss. Ananasi going to go down as well. And right over the top with a showstopper. It's going to do just that as Paz and Archer are chasing down the rest. Flash in there for the Caitlyn's going to give that kill over. And now Santos going to have to run away and hook himself to the wall. No Man's, though, on the back end of the play. He's able to take down Raynor. Still Who got the Herald? I believe No Man's got it. And he is going to get the eye and try and dip away. He's level 12, but he's getting chased out by the Galio. Nice roof walk, though. Gets him out from under the incoming Justice Punch. But is there any more left here? Ace is wanting to chase down this cast. And he's got double buffs as well. He's going to get the Q down, but he needs a little bit of extra help. The taunt not quite there in range. Nomads is going to get knocked up. And the Blast Goon is going to move Ace over as well. And that Justice Punch is going to force the Flash. But Ace just followed Flashes instead. Ooh. And now Nomads, he riff walked over. He somehow had a little bit of extra mana left over. And Archer might finally get a kill after all. He's so close to being in range. That Q just barely misses. And now you will. They're going to try and save the cast, and they're going to TP oh in. And no God. man's. He gets the kill. He's got mana back. He's going to go in as well. Archer getting low. He's going to get slain by Boss. Surely there's a the double kill for the Cassidy. He had no mana. He had no health. He had no hope. And somehow he's gotten two kills and assists, and he's almost back to half HP. Supermassive get it there, one away from the soul, but now they're stuck inside the pit. Can they get away with their life? Defensive flash by Snowflower and Legacy are trying to shoot fish in a barrel. Supermassive are just stuck inside the pit. Look at that, Mystic shot off the Mystic shot. And they're just Only daring to them to come can jump as well, but... into the fight. Finally, Tapoon fancies a shot. I've never seen fish in the barrel like this it's before. This is just straight up whack-a-mole. Mystic shot misses. Keep firing the skill shots. There's the interrupt. Finally, Snowflower oh, catches onto Tally. He's looking to whack down on Snowflower and the rest of Supermassive. One, two, three quick kills. Armit stays alive in the pit, trying to use those crushing blows and that Nimbus strike the best that he can. Isles will escape with his life, Isles. managing to life steal on the W. And finally, Armit takes him down. It is a crazy fight as a four for three so far. Armit's running lower, man, and I think he's going to be forced to run away. But that was ridiculous inside the pit.